shot himself. And Allen, after hitting the shot, picks up the foul. Marty Fletcher, the head man of the Raging Cajuns. His team up by three, and Todd Hill, who's been his most important man this half, coming back into the lineup. Hill's five for six from the field this half. For New Mexico State, it's Hickman, Crawford with the ball in hand, Reed, Leak, and Benjamin. For Southwestern Louisiana, Todd Hill, Byron Starks, who just lost his man. Leak, rebound inside, and he's fouled going up. And it's Hill that will pick it up. That's his second. Rebounds have been pretty even in this game. USL with 34, New Mexico State with 33. So that has been a key for both teams. New Mexico State in southwestern Louisiana. The winner goes to Albuquerque in the Sweet 16. Yet to come the top seed in the West, the Bruins of UCLA against Denny Crumb's Louisville Cardinals. That's our second game here in Tempe. And if it's as good as this one, <laughs> we'll have a lot of fun with it. Leak. Free throws have been tough for New Mexico State so far. Definitely been a downfall for them all season long. Neil McCarthy brings in nine junior college transfers. And six out of the top eight are his key players. Doesn't have a player from the home state of New Mexico, but if they win today, they'll go back to New Mexico in the final 16. Two-point game with under seven minutes to go. Michael Allen, who's been instant offense today for the Raging Cajuns. He's got it in hand, a little Sam Crawford on him and a man to man. Twenty on the shot clock. Stokes, he was big early on offense. And he got that one over Hickman. Stokes with 12. Very quiet player, but gets the job done. A four-point USL lead. Hickman thought about a three-pointer. Reed will take the two-pointer. Rattled out. Leak trying to keep it alive. Lost it. And now Cincinnati having beat Michigan State. They go to Kansas City. Neil McCarthy talking things over with his New Mexico State Aggies. Six minutes to play in a four-point southwestern Louisiana lead. And they're going to talk it over. Marty Fletcher with that four-point cushion wants to sit out and chat with his players with 5.59 to go. And the Raging Cajuns band lit up with 5.59 to go. Their team up by four. Marty Fletcher called that last time out. The USL head coach, he kiddingly said to us after yesterday, after the games on Friday, he said all those timeouts were over two minutes. I don't know enough basketball to talk to my kids for two minutes in the huddle. He's a piece of work. His team up by four with 5.50 left. Back in the 2-3 matchup zoned by New Mexico State. Benjamin comes out on Allen. Allen tried to feed inside, and it's stolen away by Reed. In that first half, Southwestern Louisiana had 12 turnovers, now four in the second half. Crawford dishes off as he's fouled by Mackey on his way to the hoop. First time Crawford's been to the free throw line against DePaul, he was 14 of 16. They're not going to call it a shooting foul to stop the pass. I think that's a pretty good call. Sam's arguing the point, but... Neil McCarthy argues with one of the officials, and to no avail. Mouton almost with a steal, but he comes up with a foul instead. Uh, Women's basketball action. Number one Virginia goes on. A win over 10th rank George Washington. And Clemson falls to West Virginia by a point. That must have been a good one. Third rank Purdue, top seed from the Big Ten. Advances. Women's Final four, and he'll now be there in Los Angeles two weeks from today. Actually, two weeks from yesterday. Eric Mouton has played very steady in this game. He doesn't do things flashy, but he's a very fundamental player. We approach the five-minute mark, 64-60. The Aggies 
being very patient, trying to get a basket they desperately need. Crawford will try a three. And Mouton had the rebound, and Crawford stole it. Now the dish to Hickman are trying to get it there, and Hill knocked it away. It's almost like New Mexico State in this game is just a split second short or slow in getting their passes made. And they weren't that split second slow against DePaul on Friday. That's why they pulled the 81-73 upset. Inside is Hickman. Cliff Reed created that by penetrating through the seams and defense had to come to him. Chris Hickman is doing a good job posting up for the Aggies. Under four and a half to go. Stokes trying to go inside as Reed got another steal, almost. Cliff Reed got a nice seat. Wow. Now you're going to pay a pretty good price to sit up there in row three. Reed's been all over the place after straining his knee Friday back, and he's been a big part of this West Regional second round matchup here in Tempe, where Southwestern Louisiana leads New Mexico State by two. A 12th seed and a 13th seed. And one of them is going to get to go to the final 16. Mouton, three on the shot clock. Mackeon comes up short. And the rebound, loose ball to Stokes. Stokes fouled by Hickman. That was a tough sequence there for New Mexico State because they played great defense and they end up with a fresh 45 and now Mackey, or rather Stokes, go to the free throw line. They played really good defense that time because Hickman is complaining he went straight up on that defensive play, but they have picked up their intensity. New Mexico State fouls to give. They have their full complement of timeouts and they have the possession arrow, but they also trail by two with 351 to go. Marcus Stokes, 12 points, 10 rebounds. And he missed the free throw. He's the guy that's the singer on the team for Marty Fletcher. We asked Marty about Marcus' singing abilities. He's, he's a lot better rebounder than he is a singer. We just love to see him be a good free throw shooter right here. And he was all conference in the Sun Belt this year. That looks like Allison. Fletcher is awakened, and Cynthia holding the baby girl. Cynthia's got to calm down, put something in her arms. She hasn't sat down in the last hour, I don't think. You'd hate to be an official out here. <laughs> Benjamin. Oh, what a big time for offense from Benjamin. Tied at 65. Benjamin had been struggling with his game, and he buried a three. And they're getting the crowd into it. Starks can't get it. Reed does. He's fouled by Mackeon. Good shot by Byron Starks. If he nails that jumper, it quiets the crowd and keeps them back in the game. Marty Fletcher, longtime assistant at North Carolina State. The Aggies of New Mexico State trying to battle back in it and try to take the lead. Cliff Reed again, right down by the ball, and there he is. This guy wants this game. Mr. Emotion. They call him the blade because he finds a way to slice to the basket. He did for that rebound, but he missed the free throw. Chris Hickman knocking that ball away. And then McCarthy doesn't want a technical talking to the seat. And then grab that towel. 65. Allen's one guy that could take an important shot if it comes from the outside. He's got it in hand. 25 on the shot clock and under three minutes on the game clock. Here he goes. It came off though and Crawford the rebound and foul by Stokes. Just because Sam Crawford is 5'8 doesn't mean he can't rebound. That's one thing Neil McCarthy said. Well, he plays a pretty good game, but he needs to work on his rebounding. That time, he went up for it. Dee Dee Crawford looking on. Her husband set to go to the free throw line in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Sam Crawford 
learned a lot of moves when he was going to those Laker practices with his uncle Ron Carter and played horse with Michael Jordan along with Harold Miner. And Jordan would let them get to four. And then all of a sudden they got stuck by four. CBS. Yeah, we can't beat him. He's been something to watch. 13 points. Fourteen points. The little guy got two big ones. And New Mexico State's lead is two, the largest of this half. One of these two Cinderella's two and a half minutes away from jamming their foot in the glass high top and going to Albuquerque. But who's it going to be? The biggest thing in this situation for either team is not to play cautious. You have to play to win, not to lose. Allen, that's aggressive. Reed with a rebound. And Crawford on the run. Ahead to Hickman. Hickman gets leveled by Stokes. And that's four on Stokes. Great game off the rebound. Look at that pass by Sam Crawford. He doesn't stop that break. He pushes the ball up the floor, and Cliff Reed is happy. He's been happy this whole game when something's been working for the Aggies. Chris Hickman set to go to the free throw line. He's got eight points. He had 13 against DePaul before fouling out. That's Tammy Hickman, his wife, a member of the New Mexico State women's team, considered a better shooter than her husband, and she's got her fingers crossed. A pretty good defensive player, too, but. She doesn't wear her ring during the game. She's got a little diamond in there. But Chris Hickman wears his ring. Tied on the left shoe. And the Aggies got everything working on the bench. Their biggest lead of the game is now four. Time out. 2-11 to go. Nine senior Chris Hickman, who just hit two gigantic free throws. His wife Tammy looked on from the crowd. She loved it, and so did his teammates. As Hickman's free throws put the Aggies of New Mexico State up by four. It's their biggest lead, and now we'll see the Ragin' Cajuns have an answer as we approach two minutes and a trip to the Sweet 16 at State. That's all the mice on the bench, huh? <laughs> Hill. To Starks and inside Mackey on one too many passes. The Aggies on a 9 1 run the last four minutes, and now they've got command with a four point lead and 140 to play. Sam Crawford way out near midcourt. Seventeen on the shot clock. Hickman went in, lost the handle, got it back. And now ten on the shot clock. But Benjamin turns it over. New Mexico State defensively now has to pick up. Neil McCarthy saying, pick him up in the front court. One fifteen left in this one. A twelfth and a thirteenth seed squaring off, and Michael Allen putting it up from about 28 feet out. And a foul on Eric Mouton on the rebound. That's Marty Fletcher's wife Cynthia with baby daughter Allison in hand. His team had a 41-38 halftime lead. It's disintegrated to the point they're down four. Well, Michael Allen took a big time NBA shot on that. He there's too much time to be taking three pointers like that. And get the ball inside to their big guys and Cliff Reed with another big rebound. He has just been tremendous on the boards for New Mexico State. 17 points, 10 boards for Reed. And again, they've got it working on the bench. Reed hitting the free throw down the stretch. He missed quite a few in the first half. 
He was three of eight in the first half, but that one was gigantic.